I'm very, very excited to welcome our next speaker, Hawk Newsom. He's the chairman of Black Lives Matter New York. He's an activist at the forefront of the new civil rights movement, dedicated his adult life to the betterment of his community and his nation as a whole. A native of the Bronx, he was raised in a devout Christian household. He holds a GED, Bachelor of Science, and a law degree. Hawk is engaged in protests and activities to combat injustice and police brutality. He works with members of the LGBT community, victims of human trafficking, and the mental health community. Hawk speaks all over the world on matters of social justice towards minorities. We have a huge round of applause. Hawk Newsome. Shout out to everybody that's here. Shout out to Rise and Resist. Gays Against Guns. Freedom Socialist Party. DSA. I'm talking about people who really show up for black people all the time. People who always show up for black people all the time. Right? You want to know, you want to learn a quick lesson in racism? Take a look around you. Take a look around you. If this was a march for immigrants' rights and women's rights, it'd be people all the way back there. But when you talk about 400 years of oppression of the black woman and the black man, ain't nobody got time for that. They got time for St. Patrick's Day. They got time for this. They got time for that. Let me tell you all a little joke, right? I always bug out when I see black people with St. Patrick's Day, right? Because you got the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn. You got the African American Day Parade in Harlem. And I don't see Irish people showing up with red, black, and green on. So I'm like, who the fuck are you clo cooning for? Like, cut that shit out. Stop supporting people who don't support you. I just had an argument with that right wing dude just running around trying to interview people, right? I love to fight with them. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I love to confront them. You know why? Because I went from a GED to a law degree, right? So I learned how to take this mind and what I accumulated in the, in the Bronx and apply it to the law and to the facts. And that's where I challenged them. And if you put the facts up against white supremacy, they lose every time. Yes. The numbers and the irrefutable lesson, the irrefutable evidence is on our side every time. Yes. We ran around saying that policing in America is racist for years. Donald Trump passes the First Step Act. You know who the endorser was, the first endorser? The Fraternal Order of Police. Pay attention. The people who have been saying that we were lying all along endorsed a bill that said racism exists in policing. Are you fucking kidding me? The facts, y'all. It's the facts that are on our side. The facts that brown and black blood is spilled all the time and no one cares. I talk what I talk because it's the truth. You have candidates who run on Black Lives Matter platforms, they get elected and they don't say Black Lives Matter no more. If you think I'm lying, check their timelines. I like Bernie. I like Bernie, right? But you got four other candidates talking about reparations. Yes. Reparations in a real way for the candidates. And Bernie Sanders said he's not for it. Awesome. Health care is a problem, write a check. Any other problem, write a check. Black people need some sort of redress. Nah, we ain't got no money for that. That's bullshit. So let's ask this Jewish man if he was against reparations for Jewish people. I like it when people go quiet. That's how I know when I make fucking sense. Because that's the reality that's sinking in. So what I'm telling y'all is, right now, we have to confront these racist 
and these fascists at every turn. They show up to our rallies, we show up to theirs. You understand me? I don't give a fuck. I go to Fox News. I go to a fucking KKK rally. I go anywhere and stand on this truth fearless. Because I fight with facts and I fight with my hands. And if any of y'all seen the footage in Charlottesville, you saw us on the front line. You saw these colors on the front line. We're not here to play. We're not here to play. People tell me about love. Yeah, I got love for y'all. I got love for my community. And right now, I tell y'all the truth, it's time to go into these communities and build. You understand? Because we got to reprogram the way black folks think. You end systemic racism tomorrow, and we still got some serious problems. I got another antidote for y'all. You go to any school anywhere in this country, and it's a white neighborhood, and you show me where the staff at that school and the principal are mostly black or brown. You don't see that shit. And I love your teachers out here, but the bottom line is, you go to any school in the Bronx, Harlem, and the majority of the faculty and the staff is white. Nah, I reject that shit. You look at these NGOs that are put there to serve our people, and they're ran by white people. You might be doing good work, but if you really care, you'll put an impacted brown or black woman in that director's position. This is all facts. We need to run our community, okay? I got love for my Jewish brothers and sisters. But you go out to Brooklyn and their communities, and you ain't gonna find black landlords. You ain't gonna find black stores. But you go in our communities, and everybody owns everything except for us. This is the shit I'm trying to change. Now, I'm gonna fight in legislature, but I'm gonna build up black people. If you love me, fuck with me. If you love the people, come out and join me. But I stand here and I say thank each and every one of you for giving up your Saturday to stand against racism and fascism and all those fuckers who are put here to oppress us. And these people who act like their words don't have any ramifications and repercussions. We stand against all that. And from the bottom of my heart, I say black power. Black power! When I say black lives, y'all say matter. Black lives! Matter. Black lives! Matter. When I say black lives, y'all say matter. Black lives! Matter. Black lives! Matter. And fuck Donald Trump! Thank you, Hawk Newsome.